Was the F-35B crash in Fort Worth caused by a failed flight test? At the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve in Fort Worth, Texas, an F-35B Lighting II Joint Strike Fighter aircraft crashed while in flight. The pilot safely ejected. The pilot is a brigadier general who works for the U.S. government and who serves as the DOD spokesperson. According to Ryder, the U.S. government has not yet received possession of the aircraft. For the Marine Corps, Lockheed produces the F-35B. We are aware of the F-35B crash that occurred on the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base, Fort Worth Common Runway, and we know that the pilot successfully escaped from the aircraft. We will adhere to the necessary investigative procedures, Lockheed released a statement. The jet was seen sitting on its nose in photos shared on social media following the crash, and according to local accounts, the plane's failed test flight was to blame. At Fort is Worth, a runway is shared by the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base and Lockheed is Martin's F. 35 final production plant. The pilot crawls inside the aircraft to test the hoverability of his F-35B, which is noted for its short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities. Early in December, the Marine Corps experienced issues with their F-35B Lightning II aircraft. According to Marine Corps Times, the plane's nose slammed the ground during towing due to damage to the landing gear mechanism. Due to what appears to be an electrical issue, the pilot had to land at Kadena Air Base in Okinawa, Japan. An investigation is being conducted into this occurrence. The concept of a lightning carrier is being tested by the Navy and Marine Corps. The Navy put 16 F-35B aircraft on board the USS Tripoli back in April, LHA-7. The majority of her F-35Bs were transported onto large-deck amphibious ships. In her May deployment, Tripoli tested ideas for her lightning career throughout the first few months of her time in the Western Pacific.